Okay, this is the KWSX1 meter. Has a lot of functions. Have all these buttons here that you can put it in the various screens and modes. There's the little trigger board again. All the switches are down. It's programmed for five volts. Oh, the display's upside down. Well, just tap it. And it's got a G sensor in it. It'll flip it. Or you can push one of these buttons down here. It'll do the same thing. But that's just one of the screens. <clears throat> and it's set for 5 volts. <clears throat> and I'll put on the... Uh, here's the DC load. And you'll see it's set for 1.5 amps when it's engaged, which I'll do over here. Push this little button right here. It turns on the load, and you should see it go to 1.5 amps. It does on the blue line there. Come back to the device, and sure enough, it's uh, 5 volts. Drawing 1.5 amps, 7.4 watts. I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to switch to 9 volts. Okay, I've switched over to 9 volts, and you can see that the... Uh, Charger went to 9 volts, not drawing any current. I'll turn on the load. And it should go to an amp and a half. And 13.5 uh, watts. And we come back over to the load. And you can see on the up top line there, I've set it for 1.5 amps. The voltage is 8.9. And it's drawing 1.5 amps. And the third line powers 13.3 watts. DC load is pretty handy. <clears throat> and you can change the, uh, I'll go up here, the little plus sign. I can make it draw 1.6 amps, 1.7 amps. And that little line that's under the 5 there, uh, I can shift that to any uh, column. and Then the plus and minus would do that digit as well, the amps instead of the tenths or the hundredths. So that's uh, now at 9 volts. I'm going to pause the video again. We're going to go to 12. Okay, we're back. And you can see that the uh, charger went to 12 volts. Not drawing any current yet, except for what the uh, trigger board's drawing. <clears throat> and now I'm going to push the load button. Turn on the 1.5 amp load. And there you go. You got 12 volts, 1.5 amps, 18.1 watts. Yeah, this is this meter it can read ripple. Uh, let me see if I can do it from here. If I push this button here, you get another menu, and there's ripple. If I hit it, it brings up a little scope. To show you what's going on on the line. I'm going to turn off the load, and you can see by turning off the load, the uh, the output changes dramatically. You see the switching, uh, I guess, around 50 kilohertz, that give or take. I'll turn the load back on. And that demonstrates that mode. And you come over here and you can hit this little button. And you have a protocol. And uh, let me see if I can focus. You can change the settings so you have Chinese language or the American language. Or the... Uh, Let's see if I can step down. There's about. If I hit about, let me go to the OK button. Yeah. That should let me focus up here. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Yeah, shows you the model. I mean, there you go. It should be a little better there. The model, version, serial number, website. You come down here. I think if I hit this button here, I can get back to the uh, to the display. It does a lot. <clears throat> Let me tilt it up a little bit. You can get it better. Try and get it in focus here. There you go. Real nice display. Very handy meter. Does a lot. Step above the. Uh, the KWS 2303C.